Ladies and gentlemen, this fallout from the college admission scandal is getting worse. The lawsuits are now hitting the college and you also have politicians now getting involved. So these parents, I don't know y'all, you know, at first I said they will probably walk away and I still kind of believe that, but we are in a day and age of where everything is being revealed now. A lot of things that were hidden are coming to the surface and they may make an example out of these people. You know, there's always that possibility because of how bad this looks. And you got a lot of public anger behind this. And, you know, no matter how much they say those things don't matter, it really do. It really does. Okay. So let's get into the story, which came out in LA Times, March 16th, 2019, fallout from college admission scandal worsen for accused parents, schools. Now, I don't see how the school can skirt away because, you know, they're saying, well, it was just a few employees that were involved, but you still let these students in. So I don't see how you can get your hands clean from this one. The college admissions cheating scandal that was revealed this week is shaping up to have long-term ramifications for both the parents accused in the scheme and the large world of getting into college. Some of the parents who are accused of cheating to get their children into elite schools are facing civil lawsuits in addition to federal criminal charges. Meanwhile, there is talk in Congress of new laws aimed at cracking down. And the Department of Education is also reviewing the case. Some of the defendants are already feeling the effects of the scandal. Actress Lori Loughlin and her daughter have lost work. Two members of the board of a top Newport Beach prep school stepped down as a top investment banker. So, I mean, look, it's going to be a lot more because they're talking about 800 families, but it, it's going beyond that, y'all. You know, I, I really think they are downplaying the number because, you know, this is what this country does. Several of the colleges involved have launched their own probes. The sweeping criminal investigation, which came to light earlier this week, alleged the wealthy parents from different parts of the country sought out Newport Beach businessman William Rick Singer with one overriding goal to get their children into the best schools, so the best college. And, you know, they weren't entitled to go. They weren't smart enough to be there. You know, if you were really concerned about your kid, you should have took the money, got a tutor, and made sure they could ace the SAT and ACT instead of doing that because everybody's lazy. You want to pay your way through and you didn't even work hard or deserve it. Okay. Um, Singer, who owns an admissions assistance company, told parents he had built a side door into USC <clears throat> and other highly sought after universities and could help their kids walk through. And if they get an athletic scholarship, they could literally be there free of charge. Wow. <clears throat> Lawsuits. The dozen charged in the scheme already face criminal charges, but several civil suits have also been filed. An Oakland woman filed a $500 billion class action lawsuit this week against two Hollywood actresses and dozens of other wealthy parents accused of paying hefty sums to bribe college coaches or doctor exams uh, scores. Yes, and this is an Asian woman. I saw her um, in pictures yesterday. Her name is Jennifer K. Toy, who previously taught in the Oakland Unified School District. 
allege in the lawsuit filed in San Francisco County Superior Court that the actions of those implicated in the scheme prevented her son, Joshua Toy, from being admitted to several colleges ensnared in the scandal. So she is saying her son had a 4.2 GPA and was still rejected from some of the colleges. Wow. Actress Felicity Huffman and Lori Lalan and Lalan's husband, fashion designer Massimo Giannoli, along with dozens of their people charged in the criminal case are named in the lawsuit. The court filings does not specify the colleges where her son applied or when he submitted his applications. Two Stanford University students on Wednesday filed a federal class action lawsuit against Stanford, USC, UCLA, the University of San Diego, the University of Texas in Austin, Wake Forest University, Yale University, and Georgetown University. The students alleged the rigged system denied them a fair chance to uh, matriculate at the elite institutions and could tarnish their degrees from Stanford. Legislation, one of the aspects of the case that has inspired particular outrage is that the parents who took part in the alleged bribes got tax write-offs for the money they spent. Wow. Wow. Senator Ron Wyden said this week, he, could, he would introduce legislation to eliminate that tax advantage. He said donations to school should be taxable if the donor has children attending or trying to attend the college. The federal government shouldn't be perpetuating this system by awarding tax breaks to these contributions, contributions that return to the donor a benefit of uh, an estimatable value, he said in a statement. So they were actually getting tax breaks on their scam, you know, just paying the money and then, oh, wow. Damn, this day. <laughs> yeah, they're right. It's worse. The National Association of College and University Business Officers expressed concern about the idea. While the organization understands the public outrage, we cannot support knee-jerk reactions that inappropriately presume a lack of integrity and in advancement, admissions, and compliance at our nation's uh, Institute of Higher Education and threaten to curb charitable giving. No, the college is afraid they're going to lose money and they probably will. They probably will because you can't talk about integrity when you let all of these students that didn't belong there at all into your institution. So we are beyond talking about integrity, okay? Get real. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos said this week her department is looking closely into whether any federal education violations were violated, regulations were violated. Every student deserves to be considered on their individual merits. Well, these students were not there on any kind of merits. They were there because their parents had money. So we can't even talk about that. Investigations, several of the colleges involved have launched internal investigations. USC, it has initiated a case-by-case -case review of current students and graduates who may be connected to the alleged scheme. We will make informed decisions about those cases as the reviews are completed. Yale said it was bringing in outside advisors to investigate. Yeah, because I mean, it's kind of counterproductive if you're going to investigate yourself. 
as part of this review, we will significantly examine the practices of commercial admissions consultants whose work is conducted out of the view of admission officers, the university said. Harvard Lakeland School in LA said it was conducting an internal review to fully understand the scope of any relationship that Singer may have had with our families Sources says was one of several prep schools that were served uh, federal subpoenas related to the case. This is one big mess. Ladies and gentlemen, they're not going to solve this anytime soon. This story is going to go on and on and on for probably the next few years out in the media but I'm not surprised that it's getting worse. And I'm telling you, until you find out all of the other families, it's going to go downhill very fast. Not only for the families, but for the universities for participating in this whole thing. Yes, you are a participant if you have these students at your school, plain and simple. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.